In this problem, we're going to be working a type 2 application of percents. And it's not really very important that you memorize the types of percent equations. What is important is that you can take a situation such as the one that we'll look at here, write a percent question or statement, and then take that information, translate it into a percent equation that allows you to solve for the part that's missing. So let's see what's going to happen here. Joyce paid $33 for an item at the store that was marked as 45% off the original price. So let's circle some important information here. She paid $33 and the item was 45% off. So what we want to find out is what was the original price and we want to round to the nearest cent. So this one is a little bit tricky because we have to think in terms of a whole 100%. So a 45% off means that 55% was left. So if the item is marked down 45%, then what's left is 55% of what the original price was. So there is part of our percent question. So $33 is 55% of what number? That number would be the original price. So there's our percent question. Let's make it into a percent equation. 33 equals 0.55x. I'm going to divide both sides by 0.55, which leaves me with 33 over 0.55 equals x. And if I perform that computation, I get x equals 60. If I want to make that into a money value, I'm going to go ahead and write that as $60. So let's respond then to our goal, which was to determine the original price. The original price was $60. And that really does make sense because the $33 is not quite half off. So there's our 45% off.